Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video on Cyberac spam integration with AWS SDS to provide just in time access to the multiple AWS accounts. So again, many times it is becoming quite common nowadays whenever you set up AWS organization and you wanna to provide privileged account access across like multiple AWS account. So that's where I thought of creating this short video. So this is the brief agenda I have put together. Again, the first point is we will be discussing why organization should leverage upon SDS based plugin versus the regular uh, identity access management plugin. The second, we will be looking into the workflow. How does this entire workflow is gonna look like from the integration standpoint between the PAM and the AWS account. Then we will be dis discussing upon what are the different options organization have to provide multiple account access. Then we will be looking at logically what all configuration needs to be done. Uh, so on the account where identity is located and on the second account or the other account where you wanna assume XYZ role to perform your appropriate action. Lastly, we will jump onto the cube demonstration Again, I'll show you guys what all configuration I did on my master account and what all configuration you have to do in your member account or the other accounts. And then we will look on to the cyber PAM configuration, which is quite simple and easy. So the first thing is why we have to leverage upon this STS account plugin. The beauty of using this STS based plugin over the other plugin is you don't have to create uh, multiple accounts or multiple local accounts in the AWS at all. So that's where STS is the perfect plugin you can leverage upon where we will be interacting with the AWS STS service to assume a specific role. And in this entire, uh, entire, uh, entire uh, access you will be seeing we will be leveraging upon the temporary credential to assume uh, to we will be leveraging upon the temporary credentials to access AWS console and last but not the least it's more like advanced configuration so within the CyberArk STS plugin we support session based policies as well so using the session based policies you will be able to restrict the user access. Again, I have created a separate video. Using that video, you will be able to understand it better. What is AWS session policies and how within the CyberArk, you will be able to leverage upon the session policies. For today's video context, we will not be talking about uh, session policies at all. So this is, the, uh, this is how this entire workflow is gonna look like. So on the CyberArk PAM side, what we will be doing, we will be creating two privilege accounts primarily. The first one, we call it a login account. In the login account, what we will be doing. So on the AWS side, so whatever the first account you are going to create. So on that account, you will be associating your access key and the secret access key. What we will be doing, we will be onboarding this secret access key, secret key and the secret access key onto the CyberArk side, using that, so we will be able to uh, log on onto the AWS platform to fetch the temporary credential. The second account, or here we will be creating a multiple account. Uh, on these side, what we will be doing, we will be mapping, hey, which specific role uh, your user wants to assume onto the AWS side. So, so we will be creating multiple account. In my case, I think I have created one EC2 admin account. Another one is a DynamoDB admin account. And the third account I have created, or we are going to see, you can create another account where you will be assuming a role on some other uh, AWS uh, account. So now the concept comes, hey, why, what organizations can do to provide an access, to provide a privilege access to the multiple AWS account? Okay, the first 
option could be to start creating a local account in each and every AWS account or in each and every AWS billing account. But if you think about it, adding account, adding any kind of a local account, it will unnecessarily increase the overall risk. And then you have to worry about, hey, the credential management, the, the password rotation or the secret key rotation has to happen regularly. So this option, to be honest, should be ruled out. Then another option, uh, what we have, and that's where Cyberac can help you, is to leverage upon the same Cyberac SDS plugin. And then with the help of the AWS uh, concept of a cross account access, so that's what we will be looking into it. Using this particular, uh, particular uh, concept, we will be able to use the same login account to have an access to any XYZ uh, target or the member accounts. So with this particular concept, you will be seeing later on, there is no need to create a multiple login account or to create a login account in each AWS account. So that's how we will be able to reduce our entire attack surface area. That's how you can achieve some sort of a operational efficiency. So last thing to take note, is if you want to provide an access of your own AWS accounts to some third party, th third party company or outside within your AWS organization, then don't use this particular plugin because you may get into the problem of the confused du duty. Again, if you want to read about the confused duty, just search it on the Google or YouTube. You might be able to find out tons of videos out there. So let's see logically how you can provide or how you can provision cross account access. The first thing what we have to do, we have to create a login account, for example, in account A. Then what you have to do, once you do that, you have to uh, create a role. And uh, in this particular role, you have to, we will be leveraging upon a STN, STS Assume Role API. So in this API, you will be able to allow that, hey, this particular account A, uh, account A or the login account should be able to assume a role in the account B. Once you do that, then, then everything is allowed or everything is okay from the account A perspective on the AWS side. And then we will be jumping onto the account B. On to the account B, so let's take an example. If user wants to have an access uh, or to, to XYZ resource it to perform XYZ action, then what you have to do, you have to create another, another role onto the AWS account B. And in the trust setting, you will say, hey, this login account sitting in account A should be able to assume this specific role. And once you do that, so everything is allowed from account B. So if we think it lo logically, you sh will be allowing some of the settings on the account A where you're allowing A, a specific login account should be able to assume a role for account B. And on the account B, in the trust setting, you will be allowing that A, uh, this specific login account from the account A should be as able to assume this specific role. So that's how this entire configuration is going to look like. So one thing to take note, so whenever login, login account sitting in account A is assuming a role in account B, it will be giving up all their existing permission. So this is how the concept works within AWS. So let's jump on to the demonstration. So before we jump on to the demonstration, I just want to show you guys, I have put together a GitHub page. So in this GitHub page, you will be able to see how you can set up this entire thing uh, in a step-by-step -step concept, both on the AWS side, as well as on the CyberArk PAM side. Once you follow this particular guide, you will be able to configure, uh, configure this STS-based plugin. So anyhow, how for today's, uh, we are going to discuss upon what all setting you have to do to allow a cross account access. First, I have logged in into my master account. In my master account, 
apart from all the existing policies, whatever you can see in my GitHub page, I have added one additional thing. So here in the resource setting, you are able to see I'm allowing my this login account to assume this particular role. This particular role is in a different AWS account. It is sitting in my one of my member account. So this is the only setting what you have to do in your master account. And then we will be jumping on to my one of my member account. In my member account, what I did, I simply uh, created one of the role. In the role, I have created this default policy, Amazon Dynamo DB full access. In the trust relationship, so what I'm saying, hey, so anybody is able to assume this particular role. So as long as the principal is uh, this AWS SDS login account, this uh, principal ARN, you have to just copy and paste it from your master account. So this is the only setting what you have to do. Apart from that, so let me go back into my, uh, into my PAM console. In my PAM console, what we will be doing, I'll be logging as my uh, user, Mike, who is the vault admin. So once I'm able to log in, so what I did, I did a couple of things. So if I search it with SDS, so here, so this is the account what you have to onboard, okay? So once you are able to onboard this particular account, what Cybrac is going to do with the help of the CPM plugin, we will help you to rotate and uh, to rotate or to manage these credentials on a periodic manner. Apart from that, so I created a couple of like a local, uh, local AWS AM roles. So, so here, what I did, if I go to my, this login account, I'm associating a, a login account. So what I created in the first step, and then I'll be assuming the role within the same AWS account. Okay, we are this login account is located. Again, I have created a separate video. You guys can go ahead and look onto the demonstration. For today's context, I have created another account. We call it a cross account Dynamo DB access. So here also I'm using the same login account what we have created uh, in our master account. But the only difference is when it comes to the AWS year and role, I'm saying, hey, this time I want to assume a role into my target account, into my one of my member account. That's the only difference. So here, if I click on a show button, you will see the same thing. There are no passwords involved at all. So what you have to do simply, you just have to simply click on a connect button. So once you do that, so within a couple of seconds, you will be able to see, hey, we are able to connect it to the AWS master account. And again, all the activities are gonna be recorded as we are going via the cyber app jumpers. So here, if you see, so we are assuming this particular Raj, the role, uh, Raj personal account DynamoDB access. And uh, so I'm using my one of my member account. If I go to the DynamoDB or something, I can perform all the different actions there. So let's create the table. So here we will say that the date. And here we can say temperature. So you can create a table or you can perform all the different actions because currently, uh, we have a full Dynamo DB access role. So I think uh, that's it from my side. So this is how you can leverage upon a AWS cross account access roles. And from the CyberAx standpoint, the same STS plugin can help you to provide access across like multiple AWS account. And that's pretty much from the demonstration perspective. If you guys have any question, feel free to put it on the chat window and I shall be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks a lot everyone for watching this short video and demonstration.